Good morning and welcome to Cooley Outdoors. I am your host, Brandon Scott, and with me today is Nash. We are at the Hayak Snow Park, which is also the parking lot for the Snoqualmie Tunnel. It's a The Snoqualmie Tunnel is quite a popular hike in the summertime. It's a part of the Palouse to Cascades Trail. Oh, what are they calling it? They're not calling it the John Wayne Pioneer Trail anymore. I think it's called the Palouse to Cas Cascades Pilgrim. Trail. Pilgrim. Pilgrim. So it's an old railroad right away that is being turned into a rail trail by the state in the state park system it goes from approximately north bend to oh i think it's all in one continuous line to almost moses lake now because they just got done finishing up a couple of trestles cleaning up a couple of trestles making them safe for people passages but anyway so we're going to be doing that it is plowed between here and hayak and approximately seven miles downstream at Crystal Springs for skis only. And then from Crystal Springs eastward till they run out of snow, they groom it for snowmobiles. I kind of did a little bit of it about a month ago. And I'll put that video there. But we'll have to go do it further. But we've never gone from this direction along the lake. So the, the key to this is that we're going to be skiing along Keechelis Lake. And you may not be able to tell right now but it's pretty freaking nice out. It's going to be it's mostly sunny and like 29, 30 degrees outside. And it snowed about six to eight inches last night. So it's fresh powder and sunshine. And it's going to be hopefully really stupid freaking gorgeous. Freshly powdered, freshly groomed, mm -hmm. freshly tracked. It's going to be yummy. All right, so anywho, this easy, flat, lakeside, absolutely gorgeous beginner trail that is fit for literally anyone is, of course going to be in both the ski books so when they're old and split up and you got south cascades and olympics second edition number three yeah this this uh railroad right away has gone through a lot and i mean a lot of name changes back when this book was written in the mm, early 2000s mid 2000s it was called the iron horse trail when Nash and I were growing up, we knew it as the John Wayne Trail. Now it's called the Palouse to Cascades Trail. Pick a name. But yeah. So it's groomed, easiest, round trip, 14 and a half miles. So there's Keechelis Lake. We are starting up here this time. Most of the time, we've always started down here at Crystal Springs and gone up, and we've usually stopped somewhere in here at one of these campgrounds. But now we're going to start at this end and make our way down that way. Those big black heavy stars mean avalanche danger. I haven't checked, but I'm pretty sure the avalanche danger is low, so we can continue on to that and go however far we want. But from Hayak Snow Park down to Crystal Springs, one way is seven miles, so if you go all the way down and all the way back, it's a 14 mile day, which on flat groom trails, if you're in half decent shape, it probably only take you three or four hours to do anyway, which is what most people do. We may or may not do that. And then same thing on here in this book. It's still called the Iron Horse Trail. That's f that picture is from the Crystal Springs side. Again, mappy map. We're here at that snowflake right behind uh, the Snoqualmie Pass ski area. Mill Creek, Cold Creek, the two avalanche spots. Roaring Creek, which is where I think as far as I, Nash and I usually go from the other side. It's about four miles round trip, five miles round trip. And then down Crystal Springs. So that's going to be our plan for the day. Freaking pretty bra, super pretty bra, yeah. So here's literally the start of the groomage. And Rex is parked right there, so you literally walk 30 or 40 feet, and boom, you are on trail. And yeah, this is going to be pretty, pretty sweet. Yeah, this is going to be a pretty good day. Put my hip belt of my backpack back on. Tighten that all dang thing down a little bit. One hand through a ski loop. Second hand through a ski loop. <laughs> and yes, that dull roar in the background you hear is in fact the oh good tracks. 
is the interstate. It's right over there. Some of the Snoqualmie East section is right there. So yes, it is not like we're in an undeveloped area. But this is pretty good. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's just money. God, I'm sure those houses are expensive. Da 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 do 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 Yeah, this works pretty good YouTube. Highly advise. shoe is feeling a little loose. Must have got a little breezy in last night's snowstorm. To have all the telephone poles snowed up on one side like that. Did say it's supposed to get up to 5 or 10 mile an hour winds today, so. Like we'll be coming up to the squirrel bunny. Saw Bun Bun cross just on our side of the sun patch. What does the little camera screen show, Nash? Is it showing you dead center? Yep. Okay, good. Because a lot of times I'm sitting here skating, skiing like this so much that it's just looking at the ground the whole time, and I'm like, I gotta make sure it's upturned enough. I feel bad for the Europeans and the upper Midwesterners because they haven't got good snow. Then again, I am jealous of California. They got freaking 10 feet in their last storm. Yeah. This will do. do plenty. Do, do. All right, Nash, back country time. <laughs> yeah. Just need to go buy them back country skis. Oh, morning. Here we go. Sunshine and lake coming up. This is what we've been waiting for. Just absolutely freaking gorgeous. Oh, there's another ski skier coming. Oh, ski up. A skosh to get a picture of these trees in the sun as the snow is clumping off. Yup. That'll most definitely do. Ow. 
I remember, gotta look around slowly. Pan your noggin slowly so the camera can keep up, dum dum. Oh, for some reason my feet are hurting. I'm get, gripping skis weird with my feet. Nash is uh, having himself a moment. And I bet I know why. Yeah, he's happy. He's bobbing around. He's extremely happy with what we're about to see. Which I can have half imagination why. Oh yeah. Sparkle, sparkle, baby. Sparkle, sparkle. <sighs> yup. That'll work out pretty good, I'd say. Yeah, dare bud. Yeah. <sighs> yep. The dam's on the, the other side. The dam's on that far end at Crystal Springs. Say hop out. Make sure there's no skate skiers coming behind us. Picture of Nash real quick. Yeah. This will definitely do for a day of skiing. Disappear back into the trees, back into the woods. And so, yeah, next time we come up and ski somewhere in Snoqualmie Pass, if it's just Nash and I, we will more than likely go to Cabin Creek and go ski short distances up and down the Amabilis Trail, which is supposed to be a most difficult trail. We'll go poke around in it and uh, start educating ourselves on how to go downhill at speed and how to stop and such. Because Nash has 
zero confidence in his stopping ability, which I understand. It's scary going down fast and trying to stop, especially when there's no tracks. And I mean, I'm not that great at it either. But if you want to go explore more, got to learn how to do it. Hey, keep going. Huh? I'm trying to get a picture of you and I don't want the freaking snow poles in the picture. You booger. <sighs> now I'm going to go in front of you. You booger. This is gonna be sweet. And then we'll go to Snapchat. Take one for the snap. Oh. Yeah, dare bud? Oh, oh yeah. Mm. You cankle me, I'm gonna hurt you. I think it's time for the gloves to come off though. Sorry YouTube, we're having some uh, minor technical difficulties. We? Yes, you are having diff technical difficulties. You weenie hut general. This camera's pointing in the right direction. That's my biggest fear with exquisite shots like this is the camera's not pointing in the right spot and not picking it up correctly. Good, good, yeah. Eh, not quite. There needs to be a volcano right there. <laughs> yeah. The lake more or less frozen over last time we were here more because it was later in the winter remember it's still only mid-january if we come back in march it'll be almost completely frozen i think so yeah <sighs> i'll get to these trees where this corner turns and i'll probably turn the camera off for a wee bit
You just kind of get lost in it, you know? It's like going on a good hike. Your brain just kind of shuts off and enjoys it. Got some diagonal striders coming up behind us. So make your picture quick. Yes, YouTube, we're stopping for pictures. It's kind of, you got to enjoy it some, right? After all, you are here because you have found the page in some some way or another. You have found the Cooley Outdoors account some way or another. So taking pictures to put up on the Facebooks and the Instagrams and the Twitties is only gonna help. <laughs> oh, it's weird and pinky in here with the sun and the fog. That's weird. Hey y'all, Nash, only 2,113 miles to Milwaukee. Or no, Chicago, even better. I forgot they still have those on this, that's funny. <laughs> well, I'm started, I'll catch a plane. We'll yeah. Something, something, something. I was getting ready to do the same, thank you. Oh, yep. Yeah. <sighs> Hello. Mmm. Mustache condensation tastes good. Tastes like my peanut butter bagel I had this morning. I mean, that's cool for the camera, but you missed. Yeah, a little bit. I always flinch whenever that happens when we're hiking and the camera hits a low-lying wrench. I'm like, shit! 3D effects, bro! <laughs> Poor K? Huh? How'd you manage that? <sighs> Remember, YouTube, he's special. I only have the specialist people with me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Oh, f dang it, that's what I forgot to do. What? I didn't bring you any hiking books. Oh, well, I have pretty late for that. Shit, well that's, that's easy, because that's something I want to do too, but. Oh yeah. Yep, I'm glad I turned the camera back on for that.
So obviously YouTube, that's Interstate 90. Goes east-west from Seattle to Baston. <sighs> this is a good spot to make sure there's nobody coming riding up my butt and running me over for the next 15, 20 seconds. Take a picture, a couple pictures with the phone. Open the Snapchat to gloat at people. I am enjoying myself. It's not supposed to snow today. In fact, it's supposed to get sunnier as the day goes on. But also, with the sun and the clouds going away, it means it's going to get a bit breezy. Which I'm fine with. I've got a coat in my backpack. I need to put it on. <laughs> Having yourself a moment? Yeah. Well, cuz, I don't know if you, did you ever go over I-90 before they redid all this? Cuz there used to be snow shed upon snow shed upon snow shed all in here. Where there's, where we've got the double wide express over there. The viaduct. Yeah. Ooh. See, that used to be snow sheds in there, a bunch of spots. And it would close all the time due to avalanche danger. So that was a big project. Cost a lot of money, upset a lot of people, but it's already paid for itself 10 times over because it's something like the total cost of the project equaled something like two weeks worth of past being closed and how much commerce we'd lose as a state. And that's been up for 10 years, so it's already paid for itself time and time over. What I mean by two weeks of downtime, so when the pass has to close due to snow, that's considered downtime. So two weeks worth of the pass being closed due to snow in the winter that didn't, hadn't had to close because of it being those new expressways and what those allow for is the snow that builds up in these some of these avalanche chutes on that side allows it to go under the roadway instead of over the snow sheds or onto the roadway so a lot less plowing and blasting Stevens Pass still occasionally has that problem but it's not so bad oh dude look back upstream Oh yeah, this is a picture. Uh huh. And it's getting broken up on the edge from the wind. See, if there was space here, I would love to set up for a long exposure somewhere in here, but there ain't no way I'm gonna survive that. Getting in and out of that. I mean, I probably could. Might try on the way back. And we'll put that one up on Snapchat too, just to piss off a lot of people. That was probably clear up by then too. Probably. It's supposed to get nicer as the day goes on. Nice morning, the clouds came out. Yeah, they're fighting. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, YouTube, it's an unscheduled stop. Whoop de doo. Quit complaining. It's too pretty not to stop and gawk at. I, 
I didn't. I'm not looking at it. Look at it. A camera's rolling. Get. I don't need to have a social media conversation with the camera rolling. We're having fun. <laughs> Pretty much. Uh oh, I know what this sign means. This sign means avalanche danger. I say I was gonna scrape it off if you weren't. So yeah, this means we're almost halfway down the lake already, which is crazy to think. Entering potential avalanche and rock slide area. So this means I'm going to whip my phone out and officially check the avalanche danger for today. Because that would probably be something good to check, huh? That would be good to check. Where is the avalanche app? Where did I hide it? Is it in the hiking one? No. There it is. It's in the weather app. Hmm. In the weather cluster. We are. Mm. Nope. Sunshine, sunshine. Sunshine makes me happy. Sunshine in the snow. Oh, 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 Close to where we ended last time. I'm pretty sure where it's this next grove of trees up here. Yeah, I remember we talked about going out on that lump too, so I'm pretty sure yeah. we're coming up to this little hiking, biking campground at the halfway point. Yeah, this is fine here. We'll stop here and I'll shoot a long exposure that direction for a little bit. Okay. You get to go thump out a spot though. Pretty. We're gonna put up a long exposure and it's gonna go up right there. Now we have left our lunch spot and we are gonna head back to Rex with the sun instead of into the sun. So now we'll get all these good views and we might stop for another spot for another exposure looking back towards the path. Especially if it's all sunny and snowy like this. It's kind of hard to pass it up. But we'll see when we get there. <laughs> but yeah, it's warming up. It's definitely above freezing. The snow is falling off the trees, which is why you gotta be able to get out. Sometimes you just gotta go for it the morning after it snows, because you get one decent sunny day like this, and the snow starts falling off the trees, and some of the prettiness is gone. <laughs> Huh? Chilly going the other way. Yeah. We also haven't been doing anything so our blood flow isn't up yet.
Oh yeah, that's pretty. Get off my fucking hands. When you're skiing, you can't really use your hiking stick. And it's kind of hard to store a hiking stick on a backpack. The reason I carry it sometimes when I go skiing is because it's also my tripod. It's a good combo in the summer. Obviously not the best combo in the winter. I should probably go find a real collapsible tripod to wear on the side of my pack in winter. It'd probably be easier to carry around than this thing. But that's a later worry. Oh. oh yeah, that's pretty. Yup. <laughs> yeah. This is pretty good, YouTube. Yep, this is pretty nice. You can really see how quickly the lake gets deep when the sun's out and you can, and the sun punches right through, although it helps that I'm wearing polarized glasses. This must be the waterfall. No, maybe. Oh, he's just taking a picture of the snow trees. <laughs> this is freaking cool, dude. Mm-hmm. Busted loose, baby. Freedom! <sighs> yeah, this is nice. Do, 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 do. Howdy. Ow. Some hasn't warmed up, warmed up yet. <sighs> Kinda hurts.
traffic. Oh my god, just fucking buckle. God damn it. Yep. He was coming from that direction. Nope. I bet there's some decent climbing routes over here. Use that old rebar for some <laughs> Ah. You know what? I almost unnecessarily bought when Spree and I were in Leavenworth. An ice climbing guidebook. It was there, it finally got published. There's that breeze. This would be a good spot, except I can't get over there. Set the camera down. Oh well. I marked out a spot over here somewhere. <laughs> Fuck. I might as well put my gloves on. My hands don't seem like they're gonna get warm. with no sunshine over here. battery done did died so I had to swap it out and we'll go ski 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 probably won't film too much of this on the way back I just want this open area along the lake because it's pretty
Oh, beautiful sunny sun 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 sun. Of course, it took a second long exposure looking this direction towards the pass in Gold Creek Viaduct. That long exposure will be up there. So now I'm just gonna ski. I told Nash to go ahead because the ski track was in the corner of the video, so you gotta see him skiing away for a little bit. Now I gotta catch him. speed skater action coming on people who do races and stuff practicing so like I said I don't know how much more video I'm going to shoot. This is probably pretty long since I already swapped out a battery. It's probably going to be almost an hour long video. Oops. When the scenery's that good, you kind of just have to. But who knows how much longer I'm going to shoot going back this direction. So I guess I'll run the outro now. Thank you for joining us on today's skiing adventure along the Palouse Cascades Trail south from the Hayek Snow Park at East Summit of Snoqualmie. If you liked the video, give it a like down below. If you didn't like the video, give it a dislike. Please leave a comment down below what you did like or didn't like about the video or suggestions for next time. Hopefully throughout, as the winter continues on, we'll uh, escape to some new locales to go skiing, whether it's Stevens Pass, Snoqualmie, proper Snoqualmie Pass, and the resort skiing. Go to Echo Ridge, go up to the Metau, who knows. Hopefully we'll get some more stuff in. But uh, thank you, like and subscribe to the channel please, it helps out. Um, there's also Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram pages that go along with this. They're all called Cooley Outdoors. And uh, hopefully there'll be more snowy ski, snowshoeing videos coming along before the weather changes and it gets warm again and then it becomes hiking and biking and off-roading season. Thank you and ciao. And I think I'm just gonna let this run for a wee bit longer. I don't think I'm going to catch Nash unless he stops for me. Just because we ski at almost the same speed. Hi. Howdy. Yeah. Just because we ski at almost the same speed and I'd have to really push it. And my backpack's too heavy to do that. So we'll just cruise at this good speed. And see. But we're probably covered a good six or seven miles a day, maybe even longer. I'll have to look on Google Earth and see. Hello. Hello. Oh. Oh. Starting to 
feel my lower back from my backpack. That's pretty. low hanging forest section again because it's pretty <sighs> crunchy though trees mean less snow which means more ice Hmm. <laughs> 